My name is Bonica Colas, or on social media, Cola Cokes. I'm from Kissimmee, Florida, and I've been creating since I was like 15. Challenges is that since it's only been a year, there's a lot of mistakes that are made all the time, and I have to just accept that it's a learning process. Um, but the blessings are the amount of people that I've met in the year since I haven't been working for the man. I've met so many creatives that have just made this life 10 times better. So not only was it quarantine, but I was also going through a breakup. So I was basically a psychopath every other day and I went through all the emotions and I needed something to fixate on and get all these feelings out. So the emotional series came super easy because of that. Lately when I've been creating, it's like I really feel a purpose. Um, it hasn't been just like to let off steam. It's been like I see my future now and now I just create and I can't get that image out of my head till it's like, there. I'm a very empathetic person, I'm a very emotional person, and colors really affect me every day. Um, the colors that I see, the colors that I wear, the colors that I see other people wearing, it just tells a lot about a person's mood, about their personality, about the environment. So I pay attention to colors and patterns a lot. I come across challenges during live painting all the time because most of the time I don't have anything planned. The only thing I'll plan is I'll pick certain color tubes and then I'll bring it to the event and then I'll feel out what's going on at the event and then I'll paint based off of that. Um, there's not much room for error because everybody's usually watching. The way I overcome it is that um, I've had this huge principle that my art teacher taught me like in elementary school that there's no such thing as mistakes when painting. So if I make a mistake, I kind of just roll with the punches and I'm just like, whatever. And I remind myself not to overthink it because art is art regardless of how it comes out. I do do all these mediums and um, I think I might even have ADHD because I just hyper fixate on things like every week. Right now I'm really into jewelry making. I just ordered this bead roll thing because I really want to get into like pearl necklaces, rings um, and bracelets. I love women accessories. I love unisex accessories, but I just love the way a woman puts in effort into what she wears. So I really want to like tap into that market too. Shauna was the idea man. She came up to me one day and was like, hey, I heard about this thing called a community fridge. Would you be interested in painting one? And one of my favorite Instagram artists, um, Rocio Marie, Rocio Art, she painted a community fridge. So I was already familiar with the idea of one and I was so on board that I didn't want to only paint it. I really wanted to be like a partner with it. Um, if you want to donate, it's super easy. It's located at the East End Market. It's open 24 hours. You bring what you can and and then if you're in need, you just take what you need. You don't have to deal with anyone at all. Just make sure it's pre-packaged and has an expiration date. Keep an eye out for me because I will be a household name. I hope I can add some color to your world while I'm still in Florida because I am going to be moving to New York next year. Find me on Instagram, Cola Cokes, um, C-O-L-A-C-O-K-E-S. Uh, my last name is Cola, so that's where it comes from. And my website's www.colacokes.com. But I'd rather you guys um, contact me on Instagram because I love knowing who's buying something.